Welcome to the Science Detectives Training Room Escape video. This is the perfect place for future scientists and those science detectives in training. It's also a great place for those who are teaching our future scientists and detectives. So now, let's jump right in and let me introduce you to your first case. This is where you, as a trainee, are going to learn about the mission. So we're going to be dropped into a room and it's not just any room, it's a room that's completely dark. And if you want to do this mission, you're gonna to have to figure out how to escape from the room. And I'll give you a hint, there's actually two rooms in here. So let's see how we're gonna do this. In the how to play, very simple instructions. If you're playing on mobile, just be aware that sometimes the instructions, the text that you need to know might be down below the screen. So look for that. Uh, the question mark is there for getting these basic instructions. And of course, if you want to turn the sounds on or off, we have controls for that as well. All right, so let's go play the game. Now, remember, we're going into a dark room. I'm gonna go through this mission with you, but keep in mind, we're not gonna explore everything. And just because we solved this mystery this time in a certain way, it's not always the same. So it's worth coming back and trying it on your own to see what you can find and maybe how you have to solve this mystery in a different way. So let's get started. All right. Hmm. So we need to escape. All right. And it's very dark. Ah. Hmm. If I click around here, I see it's too dark to move safely. You can see that down the bottom here, right here. All right. So then there must be something here. Ah. There's a flashlight. Ah but I click the switch and it doesn't work. Okay, what's in this drawer? We have a, some batteries, we have a bulb, and we have a switch. Okay, well, let's try, would you like to replace the batteries? Yeah, let's do that. Hmm, doesn't seem to work. Okay, would you like to replace the bulb? Yeah, let's try that next. Ah, so we were able to get it turned on. Hmm. Wow, okay. I can see the room, there's the table, and there's the door. Ah, let's turn the lights on. Ah, looks like there's some things around in the room. Ah, that's cool. But I told you I wasn't going to explore everything. So let's just see if we can get out of here. Would you like to go into the next room? Yes, I would. Ah, and I can see there's a way to get out. Well, let's just try a code. Seven, 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 seven. That doesn't seem to be right. Okay. So let's go to the computer. All right, congratulations, Dr. Biology. All right, we have almost completed the training. All right, now let's see next. Ah, so on the left, what we did and how that matches with the scientific method. Oh, the scientific method. Yes, you've often heard about that. Or maybe a teacher said, we're gonna learn about the scientific method. You may not know it, but you might have been using the scientific method all along. So let's look through a couple of these things, but and I'll let you read through it in detail when you play the game on your own. But basically, you can see if I notice something, uh, so I, I tried to turn the flashlight on, but it wasn't working. So that's an observation, all right? And then you begin to wonder why the flashlight wasn't working. So we ask a question. Hmm. 
uh, you make a guess. And, you know, we say, well, the flashlight wasn't working because the batteries were dead. So that's a hypothesis. And you can see if you go through this, you can scroll with your mouse or using the bar on the side here. It'll tell you all the steps that you've gone through that follow the scientific method. All right, so are we done? Ah, not yet. Based on your experience fixing the flashlight, which of the following can you say for sure? Hmm. Well, I think it's going to be one of these. And I think there was certainly the bulb was broken. Um, there was something wrong with the batteries. Uh, the switch probably wasn't broken. Um, but let's see here. Well, at least one of these is true. All right, we got it. And you'll notice down here, there's a secret code, 1027. All right, everybody, repeat after me, 1027. We need to remember that. Also notice that you can print the results. So if I click on this, it's going to show me what I've done, give me that same list, and you'll notice that if you read through this, I did not investigate any of the additional items in the room or rooms. So that's something we've left for you to do. So I'm going to just cancel out of that right now because I don't need to print it at the moment. I'm going to click on the side of the computer monitor and remember that code? I think it was 1027. Let's go try that again. 1027. Ah! Success! Would you like to leave the room? Of course we would. Uh, but we remember we can't come back. Well, you can come back. You just have to go through the training again. So let's go ahead and say yes. Congratulations, you've escaped. Now that you've practiced your skills with the scientific method, see how many places you can put your new training to work. If you want to read a little bit more about this, this is the story that's the companion for this. It's all about the scientific method and it lets you see how these things work and how scientists use them. And it shows you the flow of how the steps are used by scientists. So keep that in mind and be sure to come back and play it again because it will not be the same. All right, so you've had your quick training so, detective, it's time for you to jump into your own dark room and see how you can escape and what other mysteries are waiting for you to discover. Good luck.